Okay, so Cowboys won. It's Halloween. It's Reformation Day. It's a great day. All right, now you should be able to graph this in your calculator. You go to a new document, right? Everyone knows how to get to this point. You do a new document right over there. Hey, Corpus. No, don't save. And number two, to add a graph. Now you should be able to type this in after the equal sign perfectly. So negative three. And then parentheses. Oh, there we go. Unfrozen. Uh, X minus four. Okay, let's try it again. Negative three, parentheses. X minus four, parentheses, squared plus two. Okay. Now, you see the graph. Whether I give you the graph or whether I give you an equation, you can get the graph. You've got to be able to give me domain and range. So remind me, for domain, which direction is domain and what variable is domain? Let's start with the variable. What variable is domain? X. Which direction is domain going? Okay, from, from left to right, okay? So let's look at this graph. How far to the left does this go? Does it stop right here or does it keep going? Keeps going, right? We, don't we always put arrowheads at the end of these things? So this is going to keep going, 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 going. So what do you call that if it keeps going to the left? Kind of. What, what kind of infinity? Okay, negative infinity because it's going to the left forever, okay? And then how far to the right does it go? Does it stop here or keep going? Okay, so what's that? Infinity. So how can I, what's the easy way to write the domain here? So you, you could do it this way. You could do it negative infinity to, if I can draw. Right out of ink. All right, negative infinity, positive infinity. But the, the shortcut is what? This weird looking R means all real numbers. You have negative infinity, two positive infinity, then you can write the R, all real numbers. I've already told you this, and I'll tell you again. The domain is always all real numbers on a quadratic, on a parabola, this shape. Okay? What if, now, this is where it's different. Range. I don't know why it's highlighting that. Please don't do that. Okay. So what is the range? How far down does this go? Does it stop right here? Hey, what do you think? Does it stop right here? So what is it going to be if it keeps going down, 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 down? Kind of. Degrees down. So negative infinity up to what? Now here's the deal. Let's say you don't know what this point is. I don't know. What buttons do we press to trace it, to figure that out? Menu 5, 1. Y'all remember me saying this like every day last week? Menu 5, 1. So menu 5, 1. It starts way down at the y-intercept, but I'm going to go to the right. You can only go left or right. I'm going to go to the right, to the very tippy top, and it's going to tell me it's a maximum. And what is the y value of this maximum? Which, which number is the y value? The 2. Okay. 4, comma 2 is my vertex, but the y value, the highest y value there is 2. I'll see that right here. Here's the highest point. Here's the 2. So if it goes from negative infinity up to 2, how do we write that? What do I write first? Parentheses or a bracket? Parentheses what? Negative infinity up to 2. Do I put a bracket or a parentheses? Okay. Because it touches, right? It actually has a point at 2. You have to put a bracket. It includes. It's inclusive of 2. Okay. Now, this is all a bunch of reviews. Some of this is like super redundant stuff you should know. You should get 100 on this quiz. But you should not just be arrogant enough to just assume you're going to get 100. The best way to get a good quiz grade is to do the what? The what? The what? The review. I'm telling you, doing the review greatly, exponentially increases your chances of getting a good quiz grade. And if your grade is kind of mid or like failing quiz grades bump it up I promise okay so i'm giving you time in class to finish this i want you to try it on your own and then you can check your answers with the key now i know we have the key for like friday stuff but right above it on this wall there's the key to the left of it over there is the key 
on top of that one is the key. So does everyone know, new or old, that when you finish this, you can check your answers with the key. Then don't turn it in, keep it. I would like for you to study it, then you bring it tomorrow. I might let you use it on your quiz tomorrow. So don't lose it, but don't turn it in either. You hold on to it, you study it, you bring it, you take your quiz tomorrow. That's how it works, okay? Um, have you done quadratics before? Sheesh. Now, I did make a video of myself going over all this stuff, posted on the Google Classroom, if you're a part of it, which I'll we'll figure that out, okay? Uh, but everyone has this warm up, okay? You turned in last week's. You're gonna work on this during class, and then quiz tomorrow. Test Thursday. Cool. All right, here we go. 